explanation. We know that the lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. Line L and line M are parallel lines. Is written as line L parallel line M. Let's learn. Transversal. In the adjoining figure, line L intersects line M and line N in two distinct points. Line L is a transversal of line M and line N. If a line intersects given two lines in two distinct points, then that line is called a transversal of those two lines. Angles made by transversal. In the adjoining figure, due to the transversal, there are two distinct points of intersection, namely M and N. At each of these points, four angles are formed. Hence, there are eight angles in all. Each of these angles has one arm on the transversal and the other is on one of the given lines. These angles are grouped in different pairs of angles. Let's study the pairs. Corresponding angles. If the arms on the transversal of a pair of angles are in the same direction and the other arms are on the same side of the transversal, then it is called a pair of corresponding angles. Pairs of corresponding angles in the given figure. 1. Angle AMP and angle MNR. 2. Angle PMN and angle RNT. 3. Angle AMQ and angle MNS. 4. Angle QMN and angle SNT. Interior angles. A pair of angles which are on the same side of the transversal and inside the given lines is called a pair of interior angles. Pairs of interior angles in the given figure. 1. Angle PMN and angle MNR. 2. Angle QMN and angle MNS. Alternate angles. Pairs of angles which are on the opposite sides of transversal and their arms on the transversal show opposite directions is called a pair of alternate angles. In the figure, there are two pairs of interior alternate angles and two pairs of exterior alternate angles. Interior alternate angles. Angles at the inner side of lines. 1. Angle PMN and Angle MNS. 2. Angle QMN and angle RNM. Exterior alternate angles. Angles at the outer side of lines. 1. Angle AMP and angle TNS is equal to angle AMQ and angle RNT. Example 1. In the adjoining figure, each angle is shown by a letter. Show the pairs of corresponding angles, interior alternate angles and interior angles. Solution Corresponding angles 1. Angle P and W 2. Angle Q and X 3. Angle R and Y 4. Angle S and Z Interior alternate angles 5. Angle S and X 6. Angle W and R Interior angles 7. Angle S and angle W 8. Angle R and angle X Properties of angles formed by two parallel lines and transversal If we observe this carefully, we get the pairs of following. 1. Angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent to angle F. Angle C is congruent to angle G. Angle D is congruent to angle H. These are pairs of corresponding angles. 2. Angle D is congruent to angle G. Angle B is congruent to angle H. 
These are pairs of interior alternate angles. 3. Angle A is congruent to angle G. Angle B is congruent to angle H. These are pairs of exterior alternate angles. 4. Measure angle D plus measure angle E is equal to 180 degrees. Measure angle C plus measure angle F is equal to 180 degrees. These are interior angles. Let's discuss. When two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, eight angles are formed. If the measure of one of these eight angles is given, we can find measures of remaining seven angles. Let's learn. 1. Property of corresponding angles. Each pair of corresponding angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal is of congruent angles. In the adjoining figure, line PQ is parallel to line RS. Line AB is a transversal. Corresponding angles. Angle AMP is congruent to angle MNR. Angle PMN is congruent to angle RNB. Angle ANQ is congruent to angle MNS. Angle QMN is congruent to angle SNB. 2. 